Welcome back to America Island. This is Kusan, and you are watching Kusan Gaming. And uh, this is, uh, you know, Transport Fever 2. And uh, in this episode, we need to urgently see to something that I, I may have messed up at the end of last episode. Uh, that's the number one is we're going to change these ships that are passenger ships to Frontenac. We are going to uh, make them to cargo ships. And it's going to be pretty silly, but we're going to have to downgrade them all to the uh, older ship type that we had. But at least it'll be a new ship. So we should get a refund, hopefully. And uh, then, then we'll have redemption. Do I want to go faster? Yeah, I want to go faster. So I'll take the faster ship. There we go. And we got two and a half million dollars back. Perfect. Now the plan for this episode is that, uh, first of all, I don't know how much a canal costs. Well, here's my reasoning. My, re my whole thought is that it is going to be 1900 any second now. And we are sort of small fish in a big pond. We only have two million dollars. Two million. Uh, I could have ten million. I could have a hundred million. Uh, and so it's kind of not good that we only have $2 million and we're $10 million in debt. So uh, <clears throat> our goal here, uh, we, we went through the age of trams. We went through the age of, I would say this age that we were just in, 1890 to, eight, to 1900, was a bit of a slow age. But um, here we go. Let's look at our numbers uh, in terms of, well, I want the chart here. Let's look at the last 50 years. There has been steady growth in both profits and in expenses. Uh, we are approaching the 30, we are making $25 million a year, but in terms of profit, we're also spending $22 million. So tw what, what does that give us? That gives us $26 million minus uh, $22 million. That's $4 million profit in a year. And that's what we have pretty much in the bank. So uh, I'll put it. I'll speed up the game a bit, but I don't want to be doing that too much because uh, these are exciting times we're entering. Uh, what I think we're gonna do here is I have a brilliant idea of how to really optimize the this situation we're in. We have a food. We have a farm here. We're gonna call this is Napa Valley Vineyards. I don't know why I heard a, a chicken just now. This is Napa Valley Vineyards. We'll, we'll, pret we'll pretend that they are growing uh, grapes and all that wine stuff. And over here, we have a food processor that makes bread. Well, it doesn't matter what it makes. We're going to ship it some food. It already gets some food, but about 50, uh, 51 food out of 59 is reaching uh, Denver. So Denver is getting whatever it wants it gets. 1900 has rolled around. There you go. We have our assortment, a selection of all these different vehicles. They are looking incredible. The Vandal requires, um, that's a nice ship, but it requires a, a large port. And if I'm going to do any more editing of my ports, I'm going to do it off screen, I think. Because, uh, okay, because it takes, it takes a while. All right, so this food, going to the, the food processor, I'm going to start doing it right away. We're going to do it by, uh, we're going to truck it. And then we're just going to train the food back on the, on the tools train. It's just going to go back. So it's going to um, be more efficient. I, I would say this is an efficient idea. I could, I could use a train to bring some... I could use a train to bring food uh, there and back. But that would, that would require me to cross uh, the, the passenger train line and all sorts of ugliness that I don't think I want to do. I think, and plus, you'd need two different types of trains. You'd need a, 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 a grain train going one way, and you'd need a boxcar train bringing the food backwards, back towards uh, this Bay City station. So we're we're just gonna we're just gonna do it by road, and we'll just put a lot of cars on there. Now this road is going to cross where is it going to cross we don't want uh we wouldn't really like to see too much emissions going through the city 
Okay, well, uh, <clears throat> they're going to the city. Sometimes the emissions have to go through the city in order to bring, uh, bring the goods where they need to go. How about going around this hill like that? How uh, fancy do you think that would be? That would be pretty fancy. But it would result in a bunch of crooked roads. Would it result in a bunch of crooked roads? Or just a few crooked roads? I think, uh... I reckon we do that. It looks pretty good, too. So let's, let's, uh... As you see, by, by making food here, we're going to be giving Seattle food. And that's a city that's already on the network. Now, we, we should connect some new cities up, too. Because uh, that's that's the idea of growth. But, well, there we go. We have $10 million in the bank. Uh, let's, let's pay back some loans just to get that marginal... Repay $10 million of loans in one shot. How is that for a proper businessman? And we still have four and a half million. Okay, we are now bringing in the money. Slow down the game. It's only half a year has gone by in the first in the first year of this millenn of this uh, century. Focus here, focus. We'll talk about the century in a while. Well, no, I want to see my report. I want to see how much money we've already brought in this year. These are uh, half year reports. Eight million dollars. That's after paying uh, costs. Where did, where did all our costs go? Well, the railroad made 13 million, and it paid for itself. Nine million dollars in maintenance. That's pretty good. So uh, now, if we add this to the system, we're just gonna have so much money that I don't think you'll even recognize this game. It's all about that. It's all about that kind of sublime planning that that I'm about. The Bay City East Station to Denver Food Processing. And uh, I tell you, we love Denver for uh, for the way that it has become a beautiful city. Now a food line is typically this color. This is typically the food line con color that I give it. We'll call it truck, truck, what will we call it? We have a truck uh, Denver food delivery, so this would be Bay City food delivery, and then that line will 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 color it the same color, and then everything everything will sort of blend together to be a happy color coded system. Now, uh, all right, where are we gonna get the vehicles from? Denver, possibly. Not that farm, that's for sure. How about this place? Now, uh, what sort of fancy vehicle are you offering me? A 20 kilometers per hour, six capacity. I've heard of this type of deal. Uh, what about 25 kilometers an hour with six capacity? That seems like a better deal. I see, but one of them is diesel and the other one is steam. Well, we're gonna go with steam because it's faster. And it's very polluting, but how many do we need? We need a lot. I just bought a lot of vehicles, so you understand that this is not some joking project. This is a serious endeavor that will result in high yields. Bay City truck delivery. No, food truck. Bay City food delivery. Well, there we go. And then we're probably going to need to double those buses very shortly. But you're going to start piling up food here, I reckon. Let's wait for that food pileage and pile it, pile it up, high up. Pile it up. Let's go. Pile it up. Well, we'll give it a second. And we don't have to rush it. Shipment six. That tells me that it's piling it up. Uh, but, but where is it? Is it going to the train station? No, no way it goes to the train station. Okay, we we also I think we should we should increase the number of lumber trains while we have the money. 
we should increase the number of lumber trains in order to have that tool production on fleek. What's this uh, tool number here? 50 out of 132. So we are clearly uh, have we have more capacity. Now it is the turn of a century. What do you say we upgrade these to trains to something faster? Can we afford it? Well, what if I go to the oldest train and say, well, you know what? If we upgrade the train, the whole line is going to be in in a state of disequilibrium because all these trains are sort of going the same speed. This is the general. It's going 32. We have an oil train, though. The oil train is a mogul, isn't it? The oil train... Um, that's not the oil train. This is the oil train. It's a mogul. It's in good condition. Here's where you do There it is. It's a mogul. So, now, is this the episode where I upgrade all the trains on the train line to be moguls? As you can see, the food is appearing in Bay City. Here come a lot of trucks. I'm going to speed it up for you. There we are. Now, if we can ramp up production... Okay, we need to put a steel train on there as well. But that's why we need to be making a lot of money, because I want to invest it everywhere. I'm pretty impatient in investing it. Look at that. 48 people waiting in Albuquerque. 21 in Dallas, and also waiting for the bus. Let's give it another bus. We just, uh, did I just duplicate the bus? No, I just gave it one more bus. Alright, move on, move along, move along. What are you doing? You're not, you're not buying buses this episode, are you? 52 people. Well, ideally, we'd be buying, uh, we'd be buying trains. Because, uh, <clears throat> Loop Line 1 is really begging for a train. Loop Line 1 only makes $100,000 per year. I think if I add another train, we are doomed to lose on it. Plus, it does share a line over here with the other line, so if we put okay, let's let's buy let's duplicate the amount of vehicles on this line since they've all arrived to their destination. All of you get duplicated right now. I'm serious. There goes six hundred thousand dollars. There they are, invested. Now, hopefully this food processing plant can keep up. I'm going to be bringing in a lot of stuff. Okay. Are we going to give all these locomotives moguls? Let's give it to the... Let's upgrade our lumber trains first. Followed by upgrading the tools train. We have three trains. Maybe I shouldn't have done that, but because we're going to upgrade it now, and maybe with the upgrade, modify, modify. What kind of talk is modify? I don't want to modify. Replace select vehicle. Okay. Let's choose the uh, mogul. 75 kilometers an hour. Lots of power. And we need a state car 80 kilometers an hour. We are talking good stuff here. And we are talking 120 in length. That's 121. I want something that pushes it to the limit. That's also 121. How much does it hold? 132. By the time I figure out a train I want, uh, a car that I want, we'll have the money to buy almost about anything. 96 capacity, that is not enough capacity. I saw the 135 and I was pretty sure that's what I wanted. And so it would be this one. One hundred and twenty capacity for one hundred and twelve meters. They are the right kind of car and it costs seven million dollars. Okay. 
replace. Okay, is this train 15 actually full of cargo? It is full of cargo, so I'm not going to go sell it now. I'm going to go replace the next vehicle in mine. Hopefully. Okay, well, we need the money. We're not going to be doing replacing like last episode where we didn't have the money. But I would like to see the smoke in action. It's, it, hopefully it's not stopped behind everything in front of it. That's not it. That's the old one. That's a boxcar. Uh, also, some of these stations are actually very long and not just 120. Which stations are 160? Just the ones that are for the steel train, okay. And the oil train? Yeah, th those are all 120, so we'll stick with the 120 for now. 43 people waiting. Where is the uh, passenger train? Because we have passengers waiting. Okay, this is the mogul. Is he waiting till full? He is waiting till full. Which means that we need more delivery trucks here. The more delivery trucks we have, the better off this line is going to be. Because we put, we're going to upgrade this like you have not ever seen before. This is train 4. I think I'm going to sell this vehicle. We don't need it. We're going to sell it because uh, the, the train we just bought, we're going we're gonna to replace it with the train we just upgraded. Type train. And uh, then we'll have some... Uh, then we'll have the same train on the line for the wood and we'll have uniformity again and we'll have really high speeds as well here it is 120 capacity only four million dollars and here he is so we'll call this train the grandfather of all trains That's the name of the train, the grandfather of all trains. We'll just call it the grandfather one day. We'll just call it the grandfather. Now I, ma I imagine there's going to be a father and a son as well involved in all this. Okay. That is going to bring us a lot of money. I even feel like stalking this train till the destination. Just to know how much money we're going to make. But I'm positive we're going to make a lot of money. Now more signals would be nice because I feel like trains are going to start stopping and stalling everywhere. Like like as it's doing right now. And that is a cause for worry. I tried being very, uh, I tried being very smart about this line here, but why are you stopped? You were waiting for a train all up here. Well, it's not going fast enough, and uh, it needs a mogul. So let's let's upgrade these two trains. It's probably not going to happen. We need money. Let's borrow money. Let's have twenty million dollars to be sure. Whoa! Did I just borrow more than ten million dollars? I think I just borrowed seventeen million dollars. Um, that's interesting. That changes everything. That means I can afford to upgrade everything right away, which would be the right thing to do. Ooh, the Atlantic. Now, the Atlantic is a good vehicle as well, but we're going to stick to the plan here. Everything comes at its own time. Mogul. And uh, with 75 kilometers an hour, we're going to need a boxcar that goes pretty fast. Can we get something near 120 capacity like the other one, or are we going to have to 
shove it in there in, in a smaller capacity. 120 capacity. We have got the same capacity with this year box car. $13 million. Replace. Perfect. And repay the loan. Or don't repay the loan and upgrade the last train on this line. What last train? Um, they're all moguls now. So they should be... I think they're all moguls by now. There's the oil train. There's two of those. There's the lumber train. There's two of those. And there's the... Uh... I love how these uh, cargo trains always go faster than the, the, the passenger trains. There are also two passenger trains that, that are... One of them is really old. The other one isn't. We're going to replace those trains. We are going for replacing this episode, just like the previous episode. But in this case, we're buying much more expensive hardware. Uh, but it's also fun because we got all those beautiful trains. Uh, at the beginning of the century, uh, I saw something I really liked. The Atlantic. Is this for passengers or is this or is the A35 for passengers? The 10-wheeler is a passenger, freight and passenger, so uh, they all go 100. This one goes 120, but we don't have any passenger cars that can reach that. The six-axle passenger car can go 110. How wild would it be if we would just uh, do that by this Midland Railway? I don't know if this is an American. This to me, this seems like European a bit. Uh, okay. Put this in the, the mix there, and uh, put some put some beautiful Pullman cars. 120. Poor. Why poor? <laughs> Why poor? Mediocre. 80 capacity, but you're really going really fast, so. That's probably the, the right thing to do. Well, we did it. It, it looks... This train is going to look a bit funky. Because it's going to look a bit more bulky in the bottom. In the, the latter half than the front of it. How, how fast are you going? 72 kilometers. 80 kilometers. At no point do you reach magnificent speeds, but you did bring us a chunk of cash right there. Let's ride this the, the normal way, and by that I mean the real speed, and we'll put the right color on the line. What is it, dark purple? That is not a nice color for this train line. Uh, how about not dark purple, but... How about nothing to do with purple? That's actually not that bad. But still pretty bad, because it doesn't look realistic. I'm sorry that the colors in the real laugh world are so much more uh, boring. But that right there, that looks fantastic. So we're accelerating here. There's only 52 people on board, but we're going 60 kilometers an hour. Don't you dare any vehicle on that cargo line go faster than we are going, because I bought the fastest thing known to man. We're definitely going to have to name this guy. Uh, this guy's going to be named... Well, what is it going to be called? It's going to be called something beautiful. Would you look at that? That is fantastic. So it's going 70 kilometers an hour, but it's going uphill. It's going up a minor slope. That's a powerful train. It didn't really slow down at all. There it is, heading for Los Angeles.
Well, we're going to call this train the Born Beauty. Because it's just a Born Beauty. 75 kilometers an hour. Watch your uh, step here. Oh, whoa, what the heck is going on there? Well, that's what we had to do there to achieve uh, maximum perfection. And although it's not maximum perfection uh, in every sense, it's pretty darn close to it. So let's see how much money that's going to bring us with only 50 passengers on board. That's another 500,000, so this train does a million in each direction. Hopefully, they're going to fill the train up. They are going to fill this train up. Look at it fit in this station quite nicely. I thought that... I thought that this train, we were going to make it longer. But uh, it's the right... It's actually the right length. It's perfect. I am very pleased about that. Is it the, the right length for this station as well? Well, I'll be... I'll be a monkey's uncle, because that right there, that is fantastic. Okay, enough uh, obsessing about that one train, although the west coast, I'm telling you, let's go replace some trains on the east coast, just to keep it a bit exciting for the east coast folk. I think that the most important line here to change would be this here uh, stone hauler thing. So the mighty hauler is empty now, so we should go back to the depot. I'll get you in here, but I'll reverse you and send you to the depot. Come on, hurry up there, buddy. Come and roll into the station. But don't pick anything up. I'm telling you right now, your job is to go to the depot. Go to the depot. Heading for depot. I tricked you. You are rusty. You are one old rusty nail. You even have a pile of garbage in the back there. That doesn't... You've been powering this train with wood. That's impressive. Well, now the distance here, does it deserve, does the distance here deserve a longer train, or a faster train, or just a better train? What's this? This is bringing us some rocks, but it's going 22 kilometers an hour. Like, I, I, I tell you, these trains, they really know how to go slow. Well... The one thing I could do is uh, improve this station. It's a very short station. What would it look like if I improved this station? It would probably be a good idea. But, um, okay, you get out of my way, fellow. Uh, I'm thinking that we edit it on this side. We can make it a bit longer, that's one thing. There we go, that's one thing done. Don't worry, I'm not messing anything up here. I'm going to do the proper job that needs to be done in order to help the local citizenry out and uh, help Tony Soprano in his business. So how long is this train station now? Is that, a, is that an official length of anything? It's 160. I don't think we needed it that long. We just did a bunch of unnecessary upgrading. Are we going to undo it? Sure we are. If it's unnecessary, we're going to undo it. I just didn't know. I should have done my homework, but I didn't do my homework. I just went for it. Which, uh, so this train was coming up to here. I hear construction happening on my right side. That would be you, sir. Okay, perfect. Focus here. Let's put this train line in the old way. The way we had it there before. We're gonna need one of those. Well, we're going to need a bunch of everything, so let's let's put it in in one fell swoop. There we go. That could be a dip double switch. It's kind of interesting. Uh, you don't see those a lot. That's probably not very realistic, what I just did. And then uh, you here are 
would you be so kind to uh, parallel yourself the whole way there? And then we're going to just reverse you up this in this here sense, like that. And make sure that the station trains are coming on the right side of everything. Well, uh, so one of these is going to have to... The quarry line is going to have to do, to do Terminal 2. Alright, I see the, the first issue is we didn't build the Terminal 2. So we're going to go ahead and build the Terminal 2. Okay, we have built the Terminal 2. Would you be so kind... Move yourself to Terminal 2. Secondly, would you be so kind? Uh, would you be so kind? Don't lose your train of thought. It's a cargo, that's why. Cargo East Quarry. Are you having trouble? You're having trouble. Um, soprano drop-off number 2. Platform 2. And then I need you to switch sides of the track. Okay, we haven't connected the track. That's that's our one of our things here. We failed to do something pretty critical. There we go. Now we can replace this road. Pretend nothing happened. Nothing happened here. Keep moving. Keep your eyes moving. What is this? This is heading for depot. Good boy. You are a good son there. You are definitely a good one. We'll never forget you because you're going to the museum. Okay, pause. Pause. You're loading up. So while you're loading up, might as well be a bigger train. And a faster train too. What are we going with on the west coast? On the west coast, we're going with the... Mogul. Now, this one is uh, 60 kilometers per hour. It's very fancy. I think that's more passenger type. I think that's a passenger business thing. Um, power 450,000. Uh, 450 kilowatts, sorry. And then we have these uh, really fast ones. That uh, the thing is, I don't see you accelerating past a certain speed. We can put the Russian class OB. This is always a wise choice because the Russian trains in this uh, Transport Fever 2, the Russian trains offer um, really good value for money. I just don't like putting them too much of them in an episode where we call ourselves America Island. But we can put one. We'll, we'll get away with this one, but you know, stop me if you see me doing this any more than needs be. Uh, okay, what are we trying to do here? Gondola. I'm going to gamble on you. Uh, will you be a good one? I want to do this one time and just get out of here. Uh, 121, 144 capacity. We're not going to do this in one shot. We're going to have to do this in several shots. 80 capacity. Automatically number one wins, so I'm just going to go with number one. 144 capacity, $8 million. Russian locomotive. Mediocre quality. 25 year last band. Okay, we're gonna go for it. Are you uh, are you filling up there? There we go. Now, if I press play, we'll fill you all right up. We didn't even fill you right up. You you were determined to not be filled up. Okay, well, uh, how about if we duplicate you, son? Where would your duplicate sort of appear from? You would appear from the proper depot. Okay. Well, that is, uh, that's good news that you appeared at the right place. The only thing now is, are we, uh, are we going to fit with all these trains coming in and out of the depot? Well, here's the other train heading for the depot. You've done this all so brilliantly. I can't be more proud. Uh, where is our New York construction delivery train? This train needs a, this train has no path. Okay, so do you want to stay maybe there? Do you want to maybe stay on that platform and just turn your engine off? Or you are going to keep your engine on? I wouldn't mind if you just stayed there. Does that, does that actually give us an emission problem? Yeah, you have caused sort of a, a focal point of emissions 
in New York from staying there. Um, which is, uh, that's not good. You're not even that special of a train. You are a one-off. You are the mighty hauler. You're also, uh, one of those, one of the most ancient trains available, but... Alright. Will the path become available if you, if this train moves? Are you gonna all of a sudden say, oh, I have a path? No, you don't have a path. What if I turn you around? What are you waiting for, son? Are you waiting for this guy to get out of your hair? I understand. That's our brand new, uh, that's our brand new Mighty Hauler. This one will be called the Incredible Hauler, because, uh, because it's incredible, actually. It's going, uh, 60 kilometers an hour. What's, what's the speed limit on it? I think it was 60. I already forgot, but, um, we need to get that stone to that their construction place pretty pretty uh pretty urgently. And here goes the, the mighty hauler number one. We're gonna Well no, this can't be the mighty hauler. It's a simple delivery train. We need to build a delivery train, is all I'm saying. They are two mighty haulers. Something something suspicious is going on. The tiny mighty hauler. I'm not reading it properly. This is the tiny mighty hauler. Let's uh let's buy a vehicle. This is gonna be our West Coast upgrade episode. Uh, East and West Coast both got upgraded this episode. Might as well put the same train here. There's no point to uh, pretend like there is a different sort of. We just need the right car here. The fat car with stakes. It's probably this one. I think that we can put a lot. 120 meters 132 capacity eight million dollars I don't have that but we can take out a, an, an immense loan here what's the limit we can keep going 25 million 30 million it's 30 million all right be wise with it that's a lot of money you're holding there well we buy this train that's we, we do that train two. put yourself on the East Coast construction delivery line and uh, the tiny mighty hauler is gonna have to head back to the depot and say its farewell there we go we're sending it back right away go to the depot now that uh, that uh, line that we just put a train on the delivery line I do think we should try one more time to add, to add uh, after New York City, we're going to do a drop-off in Philadelphia. But maybe we'll do two drop-offs to New York. We'll do New York, New York, Philadelphia. New York, New York, Philadelphia. How does that sound? That sounds complicated. Well, uh, it better work because uh, I'm going to give it a try. You're going pretty slow. 38 kilometers per hour is not that slow. How, is, how fast is the small one going? 33. Okay, let's compare speeds. Clearly the mighty hauler, the tiny mighty hauler, it's, it's keeping up. It's 35 versus this one here, which is 44. 36, 45. 37, 46. Anyway, this is a this is not a real this is a pointless game. Clearly, one of them is faster, but it's just uh, that is good to know, though. So, are you gonna are you going to fill yourself up here? And uh, what kind of track decisions are you using? You're doing a whole b bunch of different track switches up in your route, but it works. So, so go ahead and, uh, and use the way you work to to your benefit. 75 bricks for New York City. All right, well, I'm going to press fast forward a bit because, um, well, we have money pouring in like there's no tomorrow. Let's repay all of our loan that we can before, before we uh, start this uh, nation of teas. How is it that I can repay? No, I can't repay loans when I don't have money. I can just make the noise that I'm repaying a loan. 
I can keep making this noise all day long. But it doesn't mean I'm paying back the loan, it just means I'm making noise. Okay, how is our food situation here in, um, are we, are we bringing back food? Here's the box car. Here's the box train. Waiting for free path. You're, you're not full of, you're not full of tools. Uh, you're not full of food. The path is free. Go ahead. Go ahead now. The path is free. That's a shame that you didn't bring back any, uh, there must be a problem here in food production. There is definitely a problem. This, this farm somehow is not connected to this, wait a minute, it is, it is connected. One piece of food, where are you heading? You're heading for Denver. It needs more food. We're going to need a lot more food if we're going to be uh, sending food down to Seattle through a long, convoluted system. Bear with me here. This is the last thing I'm going to try. Except that I don't have money. I have money again. Okay. We're going to try another line where we're just going to deliver food without anybody asking for food back. We're just going to bring the food there. You know what? We're gonna even be so bold as to have a second truck stop on the other side. Sort of a drop off stop. I am waiting to have the money. I have the money. We have the money. Okay, and a station here. Let's go, bing, bam, boom. Put the, buy as many trucks as you can possibly afford in one go. The steam tarpaulin trucks. Let's go. Two million dollars. Well, buy two two million dollars of trucks. Is that even possible? That was a lot of trucks. I'm not gonna lie. That was a lot of trucks. It was almost a million dollars in trucks. That hurt my ears. Okay. Now I do pray because that's quite a distance. Not as much of a distance as the one to Bay City from the farm. But and how how about the emissions? Are the emissions bothering anybody in Denver? So-so, I would say. Not too much. We kind of avoided the residential area. So um, there goes our army of trucks. This is a sight to see. Are you even giving it food? Oh boy. Hold up. Hold up. We want to fill up the truck before we head out. This is going to cause a, quite a commotion. I think that the industry leaders are going to be a bit, a bit upset with me here for for over, overtasking them with food production. This is the truck. Denver food um, priority. I don't know what to call it. I'll just call it the Denver food priority because uh, when you have this many trucks lining up, <laughs> oh my God. Oh my god, here come more trucks. This isn't a war preparation, you know. I get, But we can't have people starving anymore, and I won't put up with it. Let's go. What is holding you up? You're producing 800. Well, ship it, ship it then. I, I use the mod specifically to increase production, and it is being quite difficult about it. <laughs> Look at all of those trucks. <laughs> we might as well have put a train here. But we're not that kind of person. Let's go. I am getting impatient here. Especially with the kind of music it's playing in the background. There we go. Two food. Three food. We're happy about it. But this is the kind of mu this is the kind of music you're not gonna be playing for a war preparation uh you know, food delivery line. I I I I hope I did not just shoot myself in the foot with this investment because I, got, I saw an opportunity and I pounced on it. I pounced on it real good. Look, this, even this guy's getting impatient in back here. You can see him wiggling about there. Because these guys have to stand on the job. There we go. This is worse than a taxi stand at an airport. 
This is just gonna cause so much pollution in this pristine forest. Stay away from here, birds. This is a polluted area now. Look at that. Within within a, a month, pretty much one or two months of sending these trains, sorry, these steam cars, we have already uh, polluted you up. P polluted you up real good. Okay, well, uh, this is going to be the suspense that I end this episode on because, uh, did I... Okay, too much things are happening. The column not is now available. Uh, I just don't know what to do here. I, I, I'm in a bit of a... I am definitely going to just sit here until they go. And, uh, I'll probably meet you on the other side of the next episode. It was a pleasure to have you, to, you know, join me. Thank you so much. And, uh, I do hope you return to, uh, America Island. The best island to be on. Have a good one.